Hello, dear ones, it's Alice. Um, I have a gesture that you can use to, in case, uh, in case of, uh, you, you feel that you're seeing or sensing or hearing demons. This is a, a the, you know, the Buddhists are very conversant with, with the demon world and they spend a lot of time writing about the, the sacred texts, write about the state of mind that we need in order to avoid demons and the problem with demons is they 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 cause leaks in our in our energy field so that the true magnificence of our souls can't shine forth as well as it it's intended to do okay so as we as we proceed on the on the path of enlightenment and self-realization and awareness it, what frequently in fact probably most of the time happens is that our light, the light of our souls, becomes much brighter than the light of people around us. And in the fourth dimension, it attracts the attention of demons. Okay, Not that they're not like all around everywhere anyway, but when you really start practicing, the, the, the demons really start noticing. So that's why the sacred texts of, of many religions uh, explain what to do. Okay, because people, people on the spiritual path need to know this thing, right? It includes Christian, Christian texts, and and the, the power of play, prayer and self selfless service and the and the, and uh, recollection and um, contemplation and meditation, for instance, in the Christian way, and uh, then in the Hindu way, it includes uh, the power of devotional singing and chanting. The bhakti, the way of bhakti, and other ways too. They, they have a whole science about it. But bhakti is a very pleasant way to avoid demons, right? Because th that sound, that sacred sound, is always going in the back of our heads, right? So then in the Buddhist text, I was reading the other day, I was reading about the way that we can cultivate our minds to, to have a mind that's like, that's so clear, so devoid of of snags and hooks and um, attachments and desires and all that 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 demons can't can't get a toehold right <laughs> so so there are all these teachings out there to help us prayer prayer is immensely important and so and 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 lifting ourselves up to the notion of the divine because where the divine is where Christ is where where Buddha is where uh, Brahma, where the notion of Brahma becomes a true thing in our lives, where the Dharma, is, where the Dharma, where we walk the path of the Dharma, right? Uh, where, where we feel the presence of Lord Krishna, those are not spaces in our, in any dimension where any demon can be, right? But, but, nobody's perfect, <laughs> and. On the spiritual path, people do run into, you know, demons, devils, stuff like that every once in a while. So I was very pleased to find about, out about this very eloquent um, and very simple gesture that a person can do. I think it's a Buddhist gesture. To, to offer the energy of the demon and the demon world up. To God. So I'll just step back and I'll show it to you. you. You'll notice that the hands are cupped as if you were holding water in your hands. And but but what's really happening there is it's as if you 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 take the demon energy and you offer it up to God.